As we've said from the start, we're doing things differently in Dubai. We're setting out to make COP28 the collective COP, the COP that brought everyone together to order, uh, in order to change the game. And that includes young people. Youth empowerment is ingrained in our culture, culture here in the UAE, and it's something we're immensely proud of and something that we want to embed in the COP process. Many of you already know my Her Excellency Shem al Mazrui, who is here with us today, has the young, was the youngest Minister of State in the world when she was appointed. Today, she is our COP28 Youth Climate Champion, and we're calling for this role to be institutionalized in future COPs. Ultimately, it is young people who have the most to lose from climate change, and it is future generations who will inherit some of the greatest challenges, which is why they need to be wholly integrated into the process. They need to be educated, informed, and empowered, and they need to set the policy. As soon as we took on the COP28 presidency, the UAE was determined to make this a COP, this COP the turnaround COP for youth engagement, and that's exactly what we've done. We've partnered with Yongo to provide unprecedented support to the largest ever youth climate delegate program focused on LDCs and SIDS. And many of the youth climate delegates are now offering valuable contributions to help shape the decision resulting, resulting from COP28. 